The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. We would like to now hand over to counsel for Mr. Ying Sari to Monsieur proceed Monsieur with their questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. And for the record, Mr. Engelderm is with the client uh, right now, so that's why he's not here in court. Okay, sir. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about uh, right now. Right before the fall of 1991. Phnom Penh. And we've already heard from you where you've indicated that on or about the 19th of April, 1975, you accompanied Son Sen to Phnom Penh. And what I would like you to do is now to go back a few weeks before that. And could you please tell us where you were at that time? Dans les semaines qui ont précédé cette date. Response. First, I was at B5 office. Then, at this doctor office et ensuite au bureau de Stockton. All right. Question. And who are you who were you with? Avec qui étiez-vous? Response. At B5 I was with Om Paul Pot. B5 j'étais avec Om Paul. And I still remained with him in Stockton location. All right. Uh, now, uh, So Hong appeared here, and in his testimony, so and I'm referring to E1 slash 69.1 at Khmer 0080 English 0080496. In French, 00804859. Uh, that's where I will be, be. I'll begin, Your Honors, and it'll go for the next page or two. Uh, he's, he's told us that at the time, prior to the fall of Phnom Penh, he was in the West Zone. Kopmongspu, I believe, and he was there with his uncle Paul Pot, where he was asked to guard a, uh, an ammunition dump, apparently. And at one point, which is on the following page, he was a I asked him about Pong, and he indicated Pong was not in that office with me at the time. Pong was on the east of the Tunley Sap, well, I was on the west of the Tunley Sap. And then if we go to the following, to the next page, he was asked about you, where you were. And you indicated, and this is on Khmer 00803724, English, it's 00804967, and French, 00804861. As I recall, Chiam was at the, at the east of the river. He was with Pong because the office was under the supervision of Pong. And uh, this is just for clarification purposes. Uh, is that right? Were you with Pong at the time on the other side of the Tunley Sap and not necessarily with Pol Pot right en fait, before the fall of Phnom Penh, if you recall. Response. Response. I think what he said was his, his statement 
But I, in my uh, statement, I already dit. stated that uh, I was Et at B5 moi, and then at Doctal office. Right, so I take it what he, what he's stating, according to your memory, is is not accurate. Question. Donc, uh, when he says that you were with Pong on the one side of the Tunley Sap in Kompongsville with him and Pol Pot on the other. This is right prior to the fall of Phnom Penh. Just avant la chute de Phnom Penh. The President, you witness uh, do not need uh, to respond to the question since uh, it is not in your capacity to assess uh, the statement made by another witness. Excuse me, Mr. President, I thought this was the whole purpose of this exercise. I'm trying to, we have testimony of one witness who says that he was in a particular location. I'm trying now to see whether this gentleman was at that location that So Hong, the President, witness, you do not need to respond. Witness cannot provide you speculative response. Witness, without having to speculate, could you please tell us whether there was an office in Kampong Spur on, on one side of the Tunley Sap with Pol Pot being on the other side of the Tunley Sap? If you recall, please do not, under any circumstances, speculate. The President, Council, the President, could you try to rephrase your question? There is none of his response that said he was at the east of the river. He talked about him present at Stockdow and at B1. B5, B5, rather, that was his response, Ça, but he did not say that he was on the east side of the river. Mr. President, I'm not suggesting that he was on the east side. I would like to know if he knows whether there was such a place as described as So Hong, where Pol Pot would have been on one side with Pong on the other. In the, in the area which is described by So Hong. If he knows, fine, it's a physical location. If he doesn't know, that's fine as well. I only knew that I was at B5, but I couldn't say about the other people's statements. All right, immediately before the fall of Phnom Penh, that is around April 14th, April 15th, where are you located physically? Response. I was at the Stockdale's office. So Hong was also there together with me. So Hong était là avec moi. All right. And uh, was Son Sen there Question. as well? Son Sen était il là, lui aussi. Response. Réponse. Son Sen was a little bit further. Son Sen était un peu plus loin. He was at the Bat Kaun Pagoda. Il était à la pagode de Bat Kaun. All right. Now you you've told us uh, yesterday that it was you who Je accompanied Son Sen on 19 April 1975 Sen, to come into Phnom Penh. Can you please tell us 
who it was that gave you the order to accompany Son Sen. After the liberation of Phnom Penh, Pol Pot, uh, Son Sen was closely staying near Pol Pot. And my question is, which of the two, or maybe there was someone else, that gave you the order to accompany Son Sen? Was it Pol Pot? Was it Son Sen himself that ordered you, or did somebody else order you to accompany Son Sen into Phnom Penh? Response. Pol Pot assigned me to accompany him. At that Paul time, Pot he said, Jim, you accompany comrade Jim, Kyo tu vas to Phnom Penh. Kyo à Phnom Penh. All right. And what about Pong? Where was Pong Et at the time, if you recall? Où se Pong à cette at that time, Réponse. Pong was uh, at the rear. À ce moment -là, at Knall Bay, at Batia, and at Pong other locations. He was at, uh, or he had been at various endroits, locations uh, during 1974. En 1974. All right. So from that Très answer bien. of yours, can you please tell us, when Pong wasn't around, Pong, who was it that was giving you day-to-day -day orders while you were with Pol Pot. You've told us that Pol Pot assigned you specifically to go with Son Sen. So can you please tell us, when Pong, since Pong wasn't around, were you under the direct supervision of Pol Pot? Response. I was at B5, then at Doktao, So Hong was also there. So Hong était également présent. So Hong was there with me. Uh, maybe my question wasn't clear. When Pong is not around to give you orders and instructions, and you're with Pol Pot, as you've just indicated, right after the, Paul, uh, the fall of Phnom Penh, you are with him. Who is giving you orders on what to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Response. At the rear, it was Pong. À l'arrière, c'était Pong. But here we talk about the location near uh, Kampong Knang or Kampong Spu, and it was a so Hong. At that time, there were Sohong. only a, a few of us. À ce -là, nous pas très and nombreux. sometimes when he was uh, engaged in other tasks, then Om Pol Pot would ailleurs, give me instruction. Pot sometimes he went to office at 3 or 5, or the southwest office. He had uh, his uh, spearhead. So sometimes he was uh, present there, sometimes he went uh, to other locations. All right, and just so we have a clear record, as I understand your answer, when, when Pong isn't around, it is So Hong who is giving you instructions, or Pol Pot. Did, did I get the essence of your answer correctly? Response. In reality, that's how it uh, worked. 
C'est cela que ça fonctionnait. Uh, thank you very much on that. Now, when you went into uh, Phnom Penh with Son Sen on April 19, 1975, uh, uh, since you were accompanying him, can we assume uh, that he, at that point in time, was your direct superior? Response. Réponse. Regarding the B5 office and Doctal, I would B5 ferry the letters between these two offices to the battlefield. At the time he was at the back gold Goda, the distance was not that far. Uh, thank you. I think something may be getting lost la in translation, remercie, and it could be my questions are inartfully put. Uh, when you went to Phnom Penh with Son Sen on 19 April 1975, Sen, 19 was 1975, he your superior at the time? Response. He was also my Réponse. superior because I delivered between him and Pol Pot. I delivered the letters between him and uh, Pol, Pol Pot. So let's say all those leaders were my superiors. On peut dire que tous ces dirigeants étaient mes superiors. All right. La défense. So uh, when you went into Phnom Penh in 19, in, in, in 19 April 75, can you please tell us for how long you were uh, with Son Sen? For how long was he giving you orders at that time? Response. At that time, we went in the morning and we returned in the uh, evening. He went to matin, his location le and soir. I went to my place, that is uh, allé, uh, at uh, Pol Pot's place, because he did moi, not come to Pol Pot's place to rest. He went to his Pol place Pol at uh, Barcombe Pagoda to rest. Thank you for that clarification. And I believe from listening to your testimony, it was the following day that everyone went in, and that would have included Pol Pot. Is that your recollection? Response. I did réponse. not get a question. Could you provide again? All right. Uh, well, we, we now know that on the 19th of April, you went to Phnom Penh and came back the same day. As I understand your testimony, on the 20th, that would have been the following day, everyone went into Phnom Penh, including Pol Pot. Is that your recollection, or am I mis- Stating the uh, the evidence. Que cela s'est passé ou est-ce que je reflète mal vos souvenirs? Response. Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est correct. C'est exact. Everyone went to Phnom Penh on the 20th. Tout le monde est allé à Phnom Penh le 20. And since you had gone back on the 19th to where Paul Potts' office was and where he was residing, on the 20th, the following day, when Paul Pot went into Phnom Penh, did you go along with him? And if so, were you guarding him at the time? Response. 
réponse. Quand nous sommes partis ensemble, nous sommes partis ensemble et 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 nous To meet at the at the railway station, which of the two, or another possibility? Vous retrouvez tous à la gare, ou est-ce que cela s'est passé autrement? Response. On that day. Sun Sen came. Pol Pot came. I was driving a jeep car. Je conduisais une jeep. And they they was traveling in a Range Rover vehicle. Et eux étaient à bord d'une Range Rover. Sun Sen and him were in the same vehicle. Sun Sen et lui voyageaient à bord du même véhicule. But by the time we were near Phnom Penh, he then Changed the transport and he was on the tank. And who gave you the orders specifically on that day to go to Phnom Penh and meet up at the railway station? Response: It was a. So Hong and So Hong also went along with Paul Paul. As I said, I was driving the vehicle and there was a Land Rover vehicle when we entering Phnom Penh. All right. And when you got to Phnom Penh, who was your superior? Who was giving you instructions on that day and the following days, if you recall? Response. When we arrived in Phnom Penh, and on the subsequent days, it was so long. Les jours suivants notre arrivée, c'était so long. And so, if so long had testified that he had remained behind to guard the ammunition depot, avait dit qu'il était resté pour garder le dépôt de munitions. That would be inconsistent with your memory of him being along with you in Phnom Penh on the 20th of April 1975. Response. As I recall, So Hong did not have the duty to guard the ammunition store because he and I were close to Pol Pot. But at that time, he was traveling in a vehicle, in the same vehicle with Pol Pot, but I was driving a cheap vehicle at the time. However, the statement he made is his, but I tell you simply from my recollection. Thank you, and that's, that's what we're asking for, your recollection. Now, um, you have touched upon Uh, your activities prior to being assigned by Paul Pot to go to the Ministry of Foreign Pot Affairs, and you've indicated that you were providing security guarding at various locations in Phnom Penh, that is immediately after the, the fall of Phnom Penh. Uh, did I have it right? Response. I did state that initially when we arrived, we met up at the railway station, and after that, we 
went to the commerce nous, nous sommes rendus ministry, that is the former commerce ministry, c'est-à-dire l'ancien ministère And du commerce. Bank groups are also, uh, went Et les groupes to de that location. We all ils sont allés aussi. Met up there. Because we only met up for a short period of time at the railway station. Mm. All right, and that was going to be my next question. Uh, when did Pong come? And if you recall, uh, coming under his subordination at any point in time prior to you going to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Response. When we all Réponse. met up, he was also Parce one of the leaders. Lui and So Hong was also one of uh, the leaders, so and that I worked uh, with him. Aussi. So we met up lui. and we were together. And just so that we're clear, uh, is Pong giving you instructions as far as providing security and guarding during this period of time? La et la garde cette -là. Response. When we all Réponse. met up, the same thing was as we were in the jungle. Ensemble, he managed all the tasks. Comme dans la jungle, c'est lui qui s'occupait de tout. Ou qui avait la charge de tout. However, he went uh, back and forth uh, to various other locations, Cependant, as I stated uh, in my previous statement. Vers endroits, comme je déjà After indiqué. that, we went to the. Ensuite. to the Prekav uh, Palace Nous and other locations, so he managed those uh, locations, and Bong Hong also went to those various Bang locations, and I also went along uh, as well. All right, and I guess La what I'm trying to bien. get a, a clear grasp of is your activities during those days. Vos ces what exactly là? are you doing during those days before you go to Pendant the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and under whose supervision are you? Who is directly supervising you at the time? Response. As I said, Réponse. I was there, Bong Pong indiqué, was there, là, bon so was so Hong, so, uh, so and the duty of receiving the guest and preparing the guest house des invités, uh, started uh, from there de la at the time. Hôtes, tout cela a à ce -là. And my task was to managing the force to Moi, prepare those guest houses, les the kitchen hall, and the hôtes, receptionist. Et so I was actually act, acting on behalf of uh, Bong or So Hong at the time. Pour le de OK, Bong thank you very much. So and that's what I was trying to, to, uh, to, La uh, to clarify. Now, uh, you told us yesterday, having looked at the DC CAM interview, that it was Paul Pot that assigned you to the MFA. I guess my next question now is, if you could describe to us the sort of qualifications that you had to occupy the position that you were given. Response. My qualification at the time was 
in the management and preparation of the guest houses, of the uh, kitchen hall, and of the uh, receipt of guests. I, I was able to carry out those duties in order to ensure that the houses were cleaned, the rooms were cleaned, and the bathrooms were cleaned. And the same thing applied to the kitchen hall. And we need to have all those cutleries cleaned. So that was a part of the management that I did. C'est ce que je faisais en, en tant course, que euh, gestionnaire de cet endroit. Uh, bien sûr, j'ai travaillé avec d'autres personnes et avec les dirigeants. And that was the task that, that I carried out. Uh, All right. Now, I just want to make sure that I'm clear. Remplir, uh, is your testimony that while you were head of the administration at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for nearly four years, your job was exactly what you told us, making sure that the toilets were clean, that the kitchen had uh, knives and forks. Uh, is, that, is that our understanding of what your tasks were in that position that you were holding? What you were holding was what you were doing in this position Response. When you you talk about the administration management, that was the one thing. But the, what I did was the actual things or tasks that I carried out. That is in the preparation of the guest houses and in the receipt of the guests. Or you could simply say they were part of the administration tasks that, that I carried out. Also, my task was also to take those uh, visitors or guests to the, the areas as assigned by the leadership or to visit the other locations. And that is the extent of your tasks at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Is that what you're telling us today, or am I missing something? Response. I could not describe all the details of a day-to-day -day chores for you because there were a lot of details in what I did during those four years. Because I was the head of the office. J'étais le chef du bureau. That's what I'm trying to get at. La défense. Uh, you told us that at one point you had you were managing up to a thousand people. You also indicated that part of your duties was uh, psychological control as well as political. And my question earlier was, what qualifications did you bring to the job to be assigned by Paul Pot to hold that position and carry out those functions? Can you please describe concretely what sort of skills you had, what sort of knowledge, what sort of experience you had to carry out those tasks? Response. First, that is, be loyal to the party through the revolution and to the people and to have the clear view on that. And number two, when we are that clear, then it would be the responsibility that we have to undertake so that the result would be effective and satisfactory. All right. And uh, I take it that exhaust the list of your qualifications Question for holding that position tout ce qui vous à that you were given to to carry out by Paul Pot. A, que Paul Pot vous a confié. Response. 
response from my practical observation it was based on what I just described. All right, and <coughs> one other uh, question, because yesterday you indicated, and it might have been lost in translation or mistranslated, that on your trip to China, you were asked to sort of observe and learn from the Chinese uh, their experience on tourism. That's what I heard. Uh, could you please elaborate on that? If I have it wrong, please clarify it. But as I understand it, you talked about tourism, and this would have been as far as taking care of foreign guests. Please tell us what exactly you meant by that. Response. I already described uh, this point yesterday. Ai déjà parlé hier. My duty to accompany people during that trip was to see how the tourism or the reception was done in that country. La manière dont le tourisme et l'accueil what types of cutlery they use, for example, if you want to know that details, the knives and forks in the receipt of the guest, and what were the things or the fixture or furniture they use in the guest, the guest rooms, and the types of cloth they use, or the carpet they used. So these were the details of what I had to learn during that visit to China. Also, I went to the native uh, town of uh, Mao Zedong. Je me suis, je, je me suis la ville de de Mao Zedong. And through visit other locations, including Huiling, that mainly we went to various uh, tourist uh, resorts and nous locations. Nous and as for Cambodia, we do have uh, Angkor Wat. Cambodge, so we went to see Wat, the, the process they used in their reception of the guests. And les then invités. we could learn from that Pour and try to improve et, et uh, what we did back home. Uh, so I went and I contacted those uh, tourist uh, locations in order to learn and to draw experience from them. Right. And just one, one final point, and by the way, thank you very much for that answer. Uh, and I just want to make sure I understand it. Are you telling us that you went there to make a personal observation or this was something organized by the Chinese to show you how they do it? In other words, one, you were trying to experience it yourself firsthand and then draw lessons from that versus the Chinese putting, showing you how they, they welcome their guests and what they do with them. Response. Chinese uh, did not know that we would be there to draw off lessons. I was there to observe how visitors were received, for example, how tables were laid and how visitors were treated and we went oh. to Mao Zedong's uh, hometown and cooling and I Donc, had my personal uh, observation of how things uh, were Zedong. managed and it was not really a preparation made in advance before or for our visit anyway. Thank you very much for that clarification. I think that uh, the point is, is clear now. Now I want to go back to a topic that we touched upon yesterday, and I want to give you one more opportunity first to, uh, to, to tell us. 
whether you had anything to do with security si while you were at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So I think my the President, uh, witness, could you please hold down international court prosecutor Yumina Boussi? Yeah, yes, Mr. President, as counsel acknowledges Merci. in his question itself, this Comme is a repetitive question that was already asked yesterday. We would object on that basis. Le reconnaît dans sa question lui-même. Cette question a été posée hier. C'est répétitif. Mr. President, I'm about to confront the gentleman with all sorts of references from Sohong where he claims the gentleman was working under him in security matters. The prosecution makes reference to it. It's in prosecution documents. It's in Philip Short's book. There are also two witnesses, uh, one who, is a, who uh, well, one will appear, and I can give the names, not the names, but the, uh, the, the code numbers. And the gentleman is under oath. He is subject to perjury. I want to give him an opportunity to answer the question before I pose the following questions. That's why I want to be fair to the gentleman, because yes, in earlier today he told us that he was tired yesterday. Perhaps he misspoke or simply forgot that he was part of the security apparatus at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. De dire les choses clairement avant de poser mes questions. The President, uh, the objection and the uh, ground for the objections are sustained. The objection the question was repetitive. Witness is now instructed to not to respond to it. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. If we could go to. I would now like to direct your attention to portions of the testimony by So Hong. You've already indicated today that prior to going to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, he was at times your superior. And I believe you told us that he, while at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, he was also your superior. So unless there are any objections, I would like to go to the transcript Donc, sans plus attendre, j'aimerais maintenant que. There being none, if we could go to uh, E1 non, slash 69.1. Okay. E1 slash 69.1. Et puis, And I'm referring to Khmer 00803690. English 00804924. And French, 00804812213. And this is from the transcript on the 26th of April 2012. It's on, in the English version, it's on page 16. I'm, I'm sorry, page 14. And it would appear that this is a question being posed by uh, the president of the, of the trial chamber. Did you know if Chiam, who was your deputy, ever took people from the Ministry of, Fo of Foreign Affairs to Security Office S21? Answer, I know, I, I knew that Chiam took people out of the ministry, rather the office S21, but I did not know where those people were taken, taken to. Further down, the answer, those people were taken out of B1 office, but I did not know where they were taken to. And then further down, there were those people who were sent by Pong. Now, You've told us earlier, when questioned by the prosecution, you have indicated that um, that you took people out of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. My question is, is the answer provided by So Hong accurate to your recollection?
le président. The president, uh, witness, could Monsieur you please hold on? International co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Just, uh, Mr. President, for the question to be fair, I think counsel should be very clear which part, which specific facts he's asking him to confirm. He read from a, a number of passages, and perhaps he should give uh, the witness a copy of that, or he should direct them to the specific facts he's asking him to confirm. Uh, fair enough. Uh, let me start off with, here So Hong is saying that Pong's people would come and direct you to take people out of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Did you do that? Response. I already stated yesterday that people would be taken from Office 870 and Pang would be the one who assigned uh, people to take uh, the people to, but I uh, do not know where they would uh, have been taken to. It is true that people would be taken from B1, but I just don't know where they would end up uh, being sent to. Uh, thank you. Uh, but here So Hong says that I knew that Chiam took people out of the ministry, rather the office S21, but I, didn't, I did not know where those people were taken to. So did you yourself take those people, and was it under the direction of Pong or his people to take those people out of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Des affaires étrangères. Response. Réponse. My main superior was Yang Siri. Mon then supérieur immédiat était Yang Siri. So, oh, plutôt, mon supérieur so principal these people était Yang Siri. were the immediate superiors of mine. But when it came to transportation of people, it was Office 870 who was in charge. And I don't know where they would be taken to. Bong Sohong said uh, about people being taken uh, to S21. And I have no idea because I don't know S21. And I agree that people would be taken from the location I confirmed, but to where they would be taken to, I don't know. The Office 870 had a close relation uh, between, uh, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so that's why people were uh, sent uh, from B1 uh, and also from Office 870. All right. Now, you mentioned the people from 870 would come. Were you in a position to refuse those people? Or did you ever turn away any requests from Office 870 for people to be taken out of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Response. I had no authority to contest such orders. I had to follow the orders as a subordinate. 
J'étais subordonné. OK. Maître Carlos. Uh, that means the orders of Pong. Donc, c'était les ordres de Pong. Respond. C'est bon. Yes. Oui. Is that because you Question. were his subordinate? Était parce que vous étiez son subordonné. Bah. Réponse. Responds. Yes. Oui. Now, if we could look Question. at, if we could look at uh, E one slash six six point one. This is a transcript from the 20, 23 April 2012. I'm referring to Khmer Yaren number 00802149, English 00803660, French 00803535. To five, three. And this is a question. It's on page 88 of the transcript, in English that is. And it's a question from the international co prosecutor asking uh, So Hong the following question What about security? In English, it's line 13. Answer I was also. Part of the security, I was part of it. Question, Mr. Chiam, your deputy, had what particular responsibilities? Answer, the main responsibilities of Chiam included the security, plantations and cleaning, cleaning houses for the guests. Sir. Here you have your superior, So Hong, saying that you are responsible, among other things, for security. Do you still maintain that you had nothing to do with security while you were at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Que vous n'aviez rien à voir avec la sécurité alors que vous étiez au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Response. I wish to reiterate that in the ministry, first person was Om Yeng Sari, second in command, Bong Sao Hong. Third, I was uh, in the position. So with regard to security, the three of us uh, would be in charge of he who was on the top uh, at the top Celui level would have overall uh, chef order and Hong would uh, be in charge of political Hong affairs and I was in charge of administration who moi, at the same time uh, dealt with the security matters and the, these, these, this was a kind of systematic uh, Past and interrelated because security was always involved. Whenever there were politics, the economy, and the military, then security is part and parcel of this. Thank you. Now, I just want to clarify one point because yesterday I repeatedly asked you if you had anything to do with security. Anything at any time while you were at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And under oath, yesterday, you said no. You were vehement about it. Today, you seem to be changing your tune. You're singing a different song. So, were you involved in security matters? The President, the Council, you are not supposed to... make a statement to 
vous ne pouvez make the witness lose his confidence. You could do so in your closing statement. Le witness is instructed to not to respond to uh, that question and counsel is advised uh, to rephrase the question and try to refrain from putting questions that is trying to intimidate or make uh, witness lose confidence in his testimony. If la confiance du témoin or whether the statement of uh, the the witness is uh, or lacks probability value or not, you can do so uh, by um, stating in your closing statement. Conclusion finale, parler de la valeur probable. Forgive me, Mr. President. Maître Carlos. But Monsieur le Président. Perhaps the language was colorful. I was borrowing uh, what you've indicated to one of the uh, lawyers that they've been singing the same song. Perhaps I took some liberties in using that as part of the question. But I think my job as an advocate here is not to provide some veneer, some, some facade, but to actually ask probing questions. And in this instance, I'm confronting the man. Yesterday he said he was not part of security. And today he's slightly changing his story because now he's being confronted with evidence. That's what lawyers do. That's what I think is done at all international tribunals. And that's exactly what I intend to do. So I would like to go on with my question and ask the gentleman, is he not giving a different answer today than he gave yesterday? Response. Yesterday, I indicated that I was having problem with my memory loss because I was bombarded with questions and I could not have a clear mind when addressing to, to some of the questions. And je ne pensais pas très clairement quand je répondais aux questions. Indeed, uh, you are the one who is on your feet et posing questions to me. You may judge me whether my testimony suits uh, your uh, wish si or not, but uh, that's what I could do my best. Uh, yesterday, I was not uh, clear in my mind, hier, but today, I am better, Mais uh, and I still now can uh, respond to all questions put to me questions. in orders of your questions line of questioning. Uh, staying with E1 slash 69.1, uh, this is two pages further down, and the, the Khmer is 00803692, the English 00804926, and the French is 00804926. 4814, and again, if I look at the index, it would appear that it's still uh, the presiding judge asking the question to which you give an answer, uh, to which uh, Mr. Sohong gives an answer, which is, I knew that Chiem took these people away. I did ask Chiem about it, that is, where those people were taken to, and I said, could it be me next time? Et je me suis demandé, si I was kidding at the time, and he je, said to me that he took those people out of the office, and then other people came to take them from him, pour les so he did not know about that. And my question, because we will get to it later on, is do you recall an instance when So Hong your superior is asking you, who he claims was in charge of security, or part of the security apparatus, where he's asking you, could he be next? Do you recall that exchange? Question.
Response. No, I don't. Réponse non. All right. Now. Maître Karamas. D'accord. Yesterday, I read you a passage, and I can go back to it again. Hier, je vous ai lu uh, un document. Where. Je peux y so Hong indicated that when it came to security matters, so Hong avait dit that you were still under que sur les de sécurité, uh, Pong. Vous étiez sous les and I believe you, you've indicated Et to us today, yes, nous avoir, que vous nous ayez dit aujourd'hui que, que oui. The President, International Court Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Mr. President, I have to procure. Yeah, Mr. President, we'd object. That's a complete misstatement of the witness's testimony. The test witnesses consistently said when he was asked uh, that he reported to So Hong and Ying Siri, uh, counsel is now mischaracterizing a response that was to a very specific narrow question about when people showed up from Office 870 to take away people, could he refuse that order? And he's trying to change that into Pong was his superior for all matters. So he's completely misstating uh, the witness's testimony. He's been asked a number of occasions already, and he's been consistent about who his superiors were. Let me go on uh, to some passages, Your Honor. Perhaps it'll become abundantly clear what I'm talking about. If we could go on to E1 slash 69.1, this is Khmer 00803744, English 00804992, French 00804889. And in the English version, I'm, I'm, I will be starting on line 21, and I'll go over for a few pages, off and on, and I'll, I'll indicate when I change pages. It starts with a question, and if, if I were to ask you about Chiam, P. Poon, do you know how it is that somehow he ended up in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well? Answer, Chiam worked in one of the sections under my supervision, and he was in charge of peasantry, and he was supervising security matters and cultivation matters. Now we're on to the next page. Question. Let me go back and ask you the question again. You told us earlier that Pong was the one that appointed Chiam at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Do I have it right? Yes, you are right. Question. Question. And you just told us that he worked in security, on security matters. Is that right? Yes, exact. The mic wasn't activated. Réponse Question. He was your subordinate. Question. You were his superior. Answer. Yes. Réponse. Within oui. the framework of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that was the case. And you were also in charge of security matters. Answer, yes, I was. This is So Hong saying this. Now, if we go on to the following page, which would be in Khmer 00803745, English 00804994, and French 00804998. I mean, 4890 to 9-1. Uh, I'm going on. Prior to going to MFA, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you were involved, you and Chiam were involved in security matters under the direct supervision of Pong. Is that right? Answer, that is right. Then we go on to the following page. I ask... On line 21, uh, a question to which he answers, I do not know who the direct superior of Pong was, but I knew that he, that he, uh, that I knew, 
But what I knew was that Pong was the chairman of office 870. Let me stop here for a second because we're running out of time. Uh, to your understanding, was Pong at this period of time the chairman of office 870? Yes, he was. All right. Now, if we go to page uh, Khmer 0080374748, English 00804997, and French 00804893-9, there are some other questions that uh, that I, I pose, where I do ask him, uh, all right, what would happen if you had told, if you, if you had resisted Pong when he came to take some people away? And the answer is, I did not have anything to object to him. When I met him, I asked why he needed to take them away. Then he told me that the people would be transferred to this office or that office, and sometimes that the people would be sent to another location. So then I would let those people, I would have, to, uh, I would have no further objections. Let me stop here, sir, and ask you this question. Was that the answer that you were given? Did you ever pose that question yourself? Or did you take it at faith value that when Pong's people came from 870, that you had to turn them over? The President, uh, witness, please hold on, Le International Court Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Mr. President, the, the problem I have with this question is that he's reading long passages and then asking a vague question like, did you ask this question yourself? Um, he's also admitted a critical part of Sohong's testimony, which is that he was instructed by Ng Suri uh, to, do, to, to uh, 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 cooperate with Pong when he showed up. Um, but I'd simply ask that it, it's fine if he wants to read these long excerpts, but he should ask a question that's clear and understandable uh, to the witness, and I don't think this question was. Well, Mr. President, we haven't heard any objections to the witness, although now the witness has heard what the prosecutor has said, which I find troubling. But the witness was thinking about it and was reading the passage and was about to answer. De le procureur, je trouve ça me met un peu mal à l'aise car il est en train de dire que le document était sur le point de répondre à la question. Et là, il vient d'entendre l'objection. Uh, Et je vois qu'il est. Je, je le note, je sais que c'est l'évidence même. The president, the, the objection and the ground for the objection are sustained. Et l'objection est retenue. Witness is instructed not to respond to the question. question. Should I continue? The President, uh, since it is now appropriate time for lunch adjournment, the Chamber will adjourn. The next session will be resumed by 1.30 p.m. Court officer is now instructed to assist uh, Mr. Witness and his jury counsel during the lunch break and have them return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. Counsel for Mr. Nunchi, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm afraid I'm on my feet to sing a very familiar song. Uh, I'm informed our client is suffering from a backache, uh, a headache, and a general lack of concentration. He would like to therefore spend the afternoon session in this holding cell. We've prepared the waiver. Thank 
the president. The chamber notes your request and therefore grants it. Mr. Nunti is allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell downstairs for the remainder of the day. Mr. Nunti has expressly waived his right to be present in the courtroom through his counsel. The chamber would like a counsel for Mr. Yingsari to submit the waiver with thumbprint or signed by Mr. Nunti immediately to the chamber, and that the security personnel are instructed to bring him to his holding cell, where he can observe the proceedings from there. Bring Mr. Q Sompon as well to his holding cell et and return him to the courtroom in the afternoon when the next session resumes.